Okay, I have to admit, last week's episode freaked me out a little bit. I love orcas, but when they were coming so close to me and straight at me, I wasn't sure what to do. I hope you caught it. If you're interested in getting our videos one week early, head to www.onboardtangroa.com and join our video VIP list. See you in there. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. How do we do it? It is 10 after 6 in the morning. It's been three years since the grandparents in the States have seen their kids because of, or their grandkids because of COVID. Blaine and I were lucky enough that we were down there just before the lockdown um, in 2020. So for us, it's been a year and a half to see the grandparents, but it's been a heck of a long time before Blaine seen, has seen his brother in Boston. So we said, when the border to the States open up, we'll pop across and we will do like a mini family reunion in Boston. Everybody will meet there at Brad's house. So that's where we're heading, but it's early and we're leaving Tangaroa for a week. So trying to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, there's always a checklist of stuff to do to get the boat ready to just sit for a while. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really. Okay, so we're about three hours into our flight, and yeah, it's been great so far. The only issue is we have no Wi Fi up here, which means we cannot see the village camera because no clue there's water going into this build. But oh well, we'll see what happens. Straight flight, Victoria to Montreal. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. This airport sucks. Seriously, we had to go to Delta Gate. Do you think we could find it? It took us about 45 minutes of walking through this airport to. The fact that Delta Gate doesn't seem to exist. It's like Charlie Gate, and all the gates are within Charlie. Thanks, Montreal. But it's a little bit stressful. We're just calming down now. Yeah. The parents get stressed. The kids do not. And I lost my I favorite sunglasses. Izzy gets emotional, she says. What do you get? Emotional. Yeah. I think it's way preferable traveling by boat than airplane. Yeah. So we just landed in Boston and the first thing Blaine does. Oh no. What happened? What's that? It's the bilge cap. Which means? It's still dry. We have a dry bilge. Oh, What are we doing? Where are we at? Where are we going? We're at, um, I can't remember the name of the Davis's. Place. Dave, David's Farm. Davis's, Davis's Mega Davis's. Maze Barbecue and Brews. Yeah. Davis Mega Maze. What's in your hand? A brew. We haven't even gone into the maze yet and what's in your hand already? <laughs> we hadn't even gotten into the main park yet. And that's what was in our hand already. Cheers. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Number two coming up. That was Uncle Brad. So that is Blaine's brother. And it's been how long? Three years? Three years, four years. Which is why we're in Boston. We're doing yes. a little bit of a family reunion. You saw us on the plane. Don't really like planes during COVID. No, I have to say that. No, it's uh -uh. A little bit gross. Planes, COVID. Uh -uh -uh -uh. But we're in Boston, Davis and Cormate, and we are doing a food tour this week, and we're doing lots of stuff cool this week. Might even have to hit a Best Buy and look for some new camera gear. Woo! There's Izzy! <laughs> How 
was it? Uh, bumpy. Bumpy? Oh. Woo! <laughs> he's stuck. Where is he? He's stuck? Be careful. He's a big kid. Oh no! Ah! There goes Ryan. No! Oh, you came out of that one. Ah! Oh, chubby. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to say that, Josh. Oh, oh am I not? No. Uh, maybe that's why I never got a successful relationship. <laughs> I've decided this is a big maze. <laughs> this is a big maze. I think there should be a beer gardens in the maze. There should be. Uh, they said it was three miles of trails. That's not kilometers. That's like 10 kilometers or something like that. <laughs> Americans and their imperial system. We found our way out of the corn maze. We're off to do some America Ninja Warrior. Hey, climb! Get up there! Oh! I don't know who's in the lead here. Uh oh! oh. Mega Mac waffle, pumpkin latte waffle. Big blade. This is when we're glad Josh and Izzy are old. They can just go and we'll just sit. Then after that, it was time to go feed the farm animals. Well, you like your horns scratched. Oh, you made a new friend, Janice. That's because I did. That goes, that goes a long way. It tickles. Oh, you want some more? Tickles, eh? Are you ready? No. <laughs> Go! Whoa! One more time. Oh, you missed. <laughs> okay. Mama Monica's going now. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> You're all in. Okay. Josh, Josh, yeah. Watch your back. I know daddy wants to go, <laughs> and then I want to go. Show you how it's done. This is how the Northern Ontario girl does it. Yeah. And after a full day on the farm, it was back to Uncle Brad's house. found another dog even though we we're kind of missing Maggie but we found Sasha hello Sasha what do you think is she's soft she's soft you still miss Meg though yes I feel bad Blaine you good I'm good oh you're tired I'm tired long day at the maze 
adventure today. Josh, where are we going? Salem, Salem on an October. So Izzy said, let's do this. Where are we going is? The Salem Witch House. No clue what the Salem Witch House is, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna learn some history, right? How did you learn about the Salem Witch House? One of my friends told me about it. One of your friends told you about it? It's gonna be fun, we've got tickets. Mike and Monica are coming with us, separate vehicle. We're just punching in the coordinates for IHOP right now because dad wants to go to an IHOP. Okay, Josh, you can get in the truck now. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Lane, guess where we are? IHOP. IHOP! We do not have an IHOP we in the state, in Canada. And after an awesome breakfast, we're off to the witch house. Witch house. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to film inside the witch house, but we sure learned a lot about the Salem witch trials. And then Blaine relived his childhood gaming. I had the one on the bottom, that one, and then the Sega Genesis was the one that I had on the boat. Yeah, so old school gaming. Yeah. I think that's a Dreamcast on the bottom, but I could be wrong. What'd you think? There was a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You gonna keep looking? Yeah. Authentic Salem witchcraft and magic. Salem is a really cool town to walk around in, especially this close to Halloween. See the next place that we're looking at? Oh, she's looking for a garnet necklace. A garnet? Yeah. Oh, I would definitely go inside because we have all of our stones listed. Okay, we'll go look. Yeah, that'll, that'll be easier to specifically find. Awesome. Hey guys, we're, right going, here. we're going in there. Some people need health, wellness, happiness. Oh, you didn't put it in the statue. All the offerings were sent to the people of Nepal who needed it. There are shops in Salem you will find nowhere else. <laughs> that would be horrifying. That would be. Dracula fangs. Ooh, that would be cool. Where to school, you know? take off my mask and then people will be like <laughs> Those of you who knew what I did for 18 years will get the joke. We were here a long time ago. You see that fountain over there? That's where Josh fell into the water. And he soaked himself, he was about five. Josh's old swimming hole. <laughs> Just found my Christmas thing. I'm gonna make sailor wreaths for the boat. Blaine, yeah. guess what I'm making for our boat? One of those. That's a perfect wreath. That is. You also meet the most interesting people in Salem. This lady was traveling around North America in her RV with her cat. This way, following the red line. I think this is a walking line, this red line. There's something different about us. They need some new lines. Good thing about cameras is Blaine right now. What are you checking on? Now I'm checking the batteries first. Okay, where are we at? Technology on boats has come a long way and it's really nice to be able to check on all your systems while you're out. 85% uh, overnight. So we lost 9% overnight. Yes. So not doing a whole lot for solar, probably because it's, it's probably yucky out. Probably gross. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll go to our cameras. Our Lorex app. Yeah. Let me check the bilge and the stern of the boat and the camera's not working on the bow right now. Bilge is still as dry as I left it. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Dry bilge. Yeah, and then we'll go back. The four deck camera's not working, so we'll have a look at the aft deck camera. 
Boat still looks good. Everything's there. Yep. Still in the same place. Still floating. Always good when the boat's still floating and the bilges are dry. So in Victoria, where we are in Brentwood Bay, there's a lot of complaints from the land-based community about how many boats there are out in the mooring field. Just for comparison's sake, this is the mooring field out in Salem. Looks like your own personal hell. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good in Brentwood. Join us next week for part two of our trip to Boston and then back to Tangaroa.